okay let's uh let's move on here uh be a little 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 more positive again i think penn state should be positive about the fact that they get to play indiana this week again like that is the that's another reason to just be optimistic about this season is, is this schedule is laid out beautifully this year between the teams that penn state has to play between the way it, it, it was laid out, that's probably also why I'm a little frustrated still about the way Saturday shook out because they had three weeks to prepare for the game. Um, and, and, and and the defense did a nice job of that. The offense didn't do that. I think coming into this weekend, it's, it's now, how can you find your rhythm again? How can you find a kind of get back on track? Um, again, I a hundred percent trust in this defense. 40% trust right now in this offense. So <laughs> go out there, prove it, make it better. Like, like win, but also cover the spread, put a beat down on, just get all your feelings out and, and, and use now these next two games as your last chances to kind of get things absolutely hundred percent. Right. Because clearly they, they weren't and that again, to me falls back on the coaches, but I digress. Yeah, I mean, Indiana's two and five. They haven't given up fewer than 31 points to a Big Ten game, this Big Ten opponent this season. This is a get well game in every possible way. It looks like the weather might be half decent for Penn State home football game for a change, maybe even like 70s and like not rain. So Parody. people go out, have a great time, and the football team wins and and does what it's supposed to do and then gets ready for Maryland. Yeah, I mean, it, it boils down that schedule to two games. And I think that's what people's frustration is, is they knew that. Everybody knows it's, it's, it's these two games. I had a, I think I talked about last. I had a guy in church come up to us and say, I don't care if we only win two games all year, if it's as long as it's those two. So now everybody's got the calendar circled for noon on the 11th or the 17th, and we'll see what happens. Or the 11th, yeah. sorry. No, I think that's that's fair. I think that's right. I think, I think again, like you go back to the point of, and I think James Franklin even said this last week, like it, it, in, before the game last week, is like, what did we do to get better this week? And I think as long as you can kind of like you, you 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 took a step back last week, how can you get better this week? And as long as you can kind of correct that and keep building on that, that to me shows positive growth to this program. But at the same time, everything now must must be through the lens of getting to Michigan and beating Michigan while taking care of business along the way. And and I think that is is what the focus needs to be. Um. So I, I think, like you said, I'm very excited about uh, I'm very excited about nice weather. I know I wasn't at the last game, but I'm very excited about nice weather. Knock on wood. Um, we're having a Taylor Swift theme tailgate this weekend, so excited about that as well. What's a Taylor Swift tailgate? We're, well, because like it's her oh, album theme. theme her album's That's coming it. out this one on Friday, so you know, you excited? You gonna listen? So all Taylor Swift music all the time is tailgate. I I think that's I I don't think that that's a decision that. Like that decision's already made. So yes, like I don't think I have any input on. Well, I'm not asking. I'm just saying, is that what that means? It's all yeah. Taylor Swift. Yeah, time? yeah. We've got there's there's other Taylor Swift. We're gonna have friendship bracelets and everything else, Steve. I'm so, sorry, I'm gonna miss it. Oh, you're not gonna come over? You're not gonna? You're, no. Okay. okay. You're invited. You're invited. So. Okay. 